Hello guys, in this video we'll be looking at the second program of the part A from the CN laboratory. So looking at the question, we have implement transmission of ping messages or trace rod over a network topology consisting of six nodes and find the number of packets dropped due to congestion. So they have asked us to have six nodes. So uh, we have N0, N1, N2, N3, N4, and N5. And uh, since we need an intermediate node N4, here it is N4, to communicate with the destination N5 here, uh, we have distinguished with the shape uh, being varying for the N4, that is the box shape. All the other nodes have been represented as similar in the previous program. So you can look up at the uh, previous program that is lab 1 program from part A. Uh, the link will be somewhere up there. So, and this is the topology. Uh, so we have seen the six nodes that they've asked us. And they, it is similar to the first program. They've asked us to calculate the number of packets that is dropped due to congestion. So we will specify the bandwidth and the speed between uh, the nodes. Uh, since all of these nodes are connected using duplex links, you will be specifying the bandwidth and the speed here. So, I have told all the basics about the simulation programs that we have in the part A. So, I will be not telling in detail from the second program. So, here you have the first thing that is uh, the mandatory things that you have to do in a simulation program is to create a simulator object that is set ns new simulator after that you'll be creating a trace file that is set tf and you open a uh, some name you can give that is lab2 here lab2 dot tr is the extension for trace file and in the right mode that is for w and you attach the um, simulator object to the trace file so you use the dereferencing operator and next one you'll be creating the nam file that is set nf and you open a dot nam file with the right mode and you attach the simulator object to the nam file so these are the mandatory things that you'll be doing doing in any simulation programs after this uh, the mandatory thing is um, you'll be having a procedure finish so in order to stop the simulation so you'll be specifying the variables ns nf and tp in tf in global after which you'll be uh, using flush trace to flush whatever content is there in simulator object and you'll be closing the tf that is the trace file you'll be closing the nam file that is the nf and you'll be executing the nam file that is execute nam lab 2nam and uh, exit 0 so those were the mandatory things after you've completed creating the simulator object creating the trace file creating the nam file then after that uh, procedure finish you'll be setting up with the nodes that is you'll be creating the nodes so here it is um, six nodes that is n0 to n5 that is you'll be using set the node name here it is n0 dollar ns node is the syntax for it and you'll be creating all the six nodes after that since you've seen in the topology that uh, for n4 we have uh, um, made it different by having a shape that is box so that is why you reference the node dollar n4 and you uh, specify the shape to be as box after we have set up all the nodes will be creating the links between them that is the duplex links so as you can see you will be using the simulator object again so dollar ns duplex link between n0 to n4 with the bandwidth this thing and speed this thing and the q is drop tail again n1 to n4 with bandwidth this thing speed this thing and q again n2 to n4 n3 to n4 and from n4 you send it to the destination n5 so this is how you create the duplex links between all the nodes with a particular bandwidth and speed and the q here is drop tail and what is drop tail i've explained in the previous video for lab one you can look up to there after this in this program they've asked to use the ping messages so this ping message is used to um, used by the host or the sender to send a ping message to the receiver so the ping message is usually used in icmp protocol that is internet control message protocol where icmp response and request messages are there 
and you have agent ping which helps the user to react to whatever reply has been sent from the uh, receiver so that was about what is ping messages and uh, we'll continue with the program so in order to have the transactions that is ping messages you need to have ping agents so you'll be creating p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 ping agents for each of the nodes except for the n4 you'll be creating the ping agents for every node so the syntax is set p1 you'll be setting up new agent slash ping make sure the cases are as it is here because it is case sensitive then you attach by using simulator object you attach the ping object p1 to a not node then you set uh, by using the ping object you set the packet size and the interval so that was about ping agent uh, p1 then you set uh, ping2 agent that is p2 uh, with the same syntax and you attach that to n1 uh, here we'll be looking at packet drops between uh, the uh, ping will be looking mainly between n0 and n5 and n2 and n3 that is why uh, ping agents p1 and here it is p uh, for n0 the ping agent is p1 and for n1 the ping agent is p2 for n2 the ping agent is p3 for n3 the ping agent is p4 and for n5 the ping agent is p5 so since we are mainly concentrating between the traffic between n0 and n5 and n2 and n3 uh, the ping agents uh, for n0 is uh, p1 and for n2 is p3 so for those uh, ping agents will be setting the packet size as well as the intervals and for other ping agents will be just attaching to the node so as we can see here for n1 we've just attached for uh, n0 we have attached as well as we specify the packet size and interval for uh, ping agent 3 that is for node 2 will be attaching it and will be specifying the packet size and interval for ping agent 4 will be uh, just uh, attaching to the node n3 and will not be specifying any packet size or interval for ping agent 5 for uh, the same thing will be attaching to the node 5 so that was about attaching the ping agents to the different nodes after which you'll be limiting the queue size that is queue limit between the duplex link n0 to n4 the queue limit is 5 between n1 to n4 you have 3 between n4 to n5 you have 2 then this function is very important in order to send the ping messages between the sender and the receiver so without this your program won't work so agent ping inst proc recv is receive from rtt so this is the uh, procedure that we are calling it is inbuilt and uh, you will be referencing dollar self inst var node so this is under the procedure itself then you will be have this puts is nothing but a print statement where node dollar node id where it will uh, specify the node number received answer that is the uh, sender will get an answer from the receiver so that is what is here so received answer from dollar from that is dollar from is nothing but the other node rtt that is round trip time dollar rtt that is the round trip time value that is msec in msec it will be given so that was about the procedure agent ping after which you will have to connect the ping agent p1 and ping agent p5 since we have to communicate between the nodes n0 and n5 uh, as i've uh, mentioned earlier those are the ping agents respectively for those particular nodes and you have to connect the ping agents p3 and p4 since we have to communicate between the nodes n2 and n3 so those are the ping agents for the respective nodes after which you have to start the simulation i have not written the entire thing here what you have to do is dollar ns at 0.1 dollar p1 send again dollar ns at 0.2 dollar p1 send you have to go on until dollar ns 2.9 till 2.9 seconds 2 minutes uh, 9 seconds you'll be uh, writing the like p1 uh, p1 set p1 send because you need to observe it clearly that is why we will take it till 2.9 seconds and same thing goes for dollar p3 send afterwards uh, uh, like dollar ns at 3.0 we finish that is we call the finish procedure in order to stop the simulation and dollar ns run is a mandatory because you need to run the simulation 
So AWK file here is used to analyze the trace file where we have to calculate the number of packets that are dropped. So again, uh, as we have seen in the last program, the code is similar. So you have in the begin section, you'll be initializing a variable drop equals to zero. And in the if one, you'll be, that is, I've clearly told you about what is dollar one in the trace file in the last uh, video. So please look into that. And so dollar one is nothing but the event. So here we are checking the drop. So it is D. So dollar one equals to equals to D. And we increment the drop variable we have initialized that is drop plus plus. And in end we'll be printing the number of percent a percentage S packets dropped in percentage D dollar five drop. What is dollar five dollar five in the trace file is the type of packet here the type of packet will be ping packets so the number of ping packets dropped in percentage d will give the number of drop things so that will be printed so this is about the second program if any doubts you can mention in the comment box and the link to the notes for this program is provided in the description box thank you guys